Okay, hi guys and welcome to another tutorial on Stock Submitter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly manage your sites inside Stock Submitter. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at how we can correctly add sites to our Manage Sites uh, tab. So to begin with, we simply go ahead over to Manage Sites just here. We're going to go ahead and click that now. Uh, upon clicking that, you're going to get your site settings box open up and inside here um, you can basically see that there is a drop down menu of all of the uh, popular stock sites uh, that are currently out on the web. We've got things like Shutterstock, Foltolia, Dreamstime and uh, a couple of different kinds of um, stock sites here. For example, we've got Zuna, um, Photo Arabia. Uh, you've also got websites like YouTube, for example. Um, which uh, can be a popular option uh, for video content creators uh, to upload their watermark stock site uh, stock footage to um, as it adds uh, as a uh, quite a nice little uh, advertising platform for their stock um, we can then uh, also go ahead and uh, see some sites now that I already have added to uh, my list uh, and you can tell that these are currently in my list because they are put into bold uh, where websites that I have yet to have accounts on uh, are still uh, in their normal fonts. Um, to go ahead and add a website to the list now, we can simply go ahead and select one. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use iStock. Um, so in order to do that, uh, once you, you simply have to click on the, uh, the actual uh, name of the agency itself and it comes up. Um, we can see here as soon as we click it that we have um, the site address, the status, the site login, password and payout method is also an option that you can select here uh, along with various options to do with uh, the size limits and metadata. Um, so in order to go ahead and add that you simply put your normal login credentials that you would for the website itself. Um, so as you can see here it then comes up with ready to use once that's done. Um, you can then also select the payout method uh, for this. It's at $100. Uh, I use PayPal on all of my agencies, so I'm simply going to keep that as PayPal now. Uh, you have the option to ignore the agency size limits. Um, this is things like uh, Big Stock, for example, has size limits. Um, that's obviously up to you whether you want to do that. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to leave that unselected. However, you may want to do that depending on the website that you are submitting to. Uh, the other thing that you can do as well is automatically cut to meet agency requirements and what that means is that um, certain agencies have limits when it comes to their title description and keywords. Uh, I know for example that some agencies will allow up to 70 keywords, some only allow 50, some of them will only take 30 for example and uh, what you have the option of doing here is simply saying to stock submitter okay well for those agencies uh, I'm quite happy for you to cut some of those keywords out. Um, you can do the same for the description and the title, um, however that might be something that you want to do yourself. Uh, the option is there if you want it. You also have the option uh, to select do not upload raster and vector files. Um, as some of these agencies don't take those, that's obviously up to you depending on the stock that you produce. I don't do any raster or vectors myself, so I'm just going to leave these unselected for the purposes of this tutorial. Then I can go ahead uh, and click save and as you can see here that uh, iStock is now added to my list of sites. Now uh, if I want to move these lists about I can go back up here to the manage sites tab uh, and as you can actually see here that the bolded websites the ones that I'm already submitting to are listed categorically in my manage sites tab down here and if I want to move any of those around for example I can simply drag and drop them uh, here, so for example, I've got Pond 5. I'm then going to put that next to Shutterstock and click Save. You can see that Pond 5 is now added here. Now, the other thing that uh, you can also see here is the amount of money that you have currently earned on these agencies. Um, as you can see, Shutterstock right now is currently my highest at $76. Uh, I've got $25 uh, on 123RF, $9 on Foltolia, and um, the reason that they are displayed in different colors here is because of the payout uh, thresholds. So for example on Shutterstock my payout threshold is currently set to $75 so I can then request this money now because it's turned green 
uh, you can see the total amount of money that you've earned just here, which is $122, uh, and the 76 that I can get from Shutterstock is in brackets. So that means that uh, I can't actually access this $25 or $7 or $9 because I haven't reached the payout threshold on this site. Now, uh, in order to select these sites for various uh, activities, you can simply go ahead and select them here. Um, if you want to mass select the websites, you simply go ahead and pick this box just up here for each of these, uh, and then you are ready to do that. Uh, and yeah, that's how you correctly add sites to your Manage Sites tab. Um, as you can see down here as well, just I'm just gonna touch on this briefly, you've also got your custom FTP options for less popular sites that aren't already listed inside of Stock Submitter. So if you have one uh, that isn't listed here that you wish to upload to, uh, you can actually give Stock Submitter the FTP URL, the login, the password, the directory, the STF, uh, sorry, SFTP mode, um, and then you can also do things like uh, add the Stock Submitter identifying keyword uh, and upload MOV files along with JPEG files for video. Uh, and you also have your standard do not upload raster and vectors. Uh, I don't actually use any sites that aren't already listed on Stock Submitter. I think it's a fantastic software because it has most of the mainstream stock sites there uh, and it's constantly adding new ones. So actually, I don't actually need to use this, but should the need arise and you have a private or not so uh, common FTP server you wish to upload to, uh, this is a fantastic tool to allow you to do that as well. Um, something else that you can do as well is create a new profile inside of this uh, and just generate a new name for that profile if you don't want to use one of the standard ones given here. Uh, but as I don't need to do that, uh, I'm absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go ahead now uh, and uh, just remove this information as I don't actually need that. So if you don't want to add one of these websites and you just want it uh, as one of the websites that you don't use, uh, you can remove your information here. And uh, then that is obviously uh, un unbolded uh, in the list and uh, I can just move that back down. I don't submit to iStock normally, so uh, I don't particularly want that. Uh, and if I go ahead and click save, you can actually see that iStock will be removed again from this list. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to correctly manage your sites inside Stock Submitter. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic software. I hope you found this video informative. Please consider subscribing to the channel and continue to use this fantastic software. Thanks for watching.